right, so today's video is just going to be a little bit about um, getting set up for the winter, getting the car ready. Um, I'm going to touch a little basis on my digital dash kit, my uh, reversions, raceworks, digital bezel. Um, just talk a little bit about Tinker, talk a little bit about reversions and some of the things that they do. Um, and I'll give you guys some highlight of that. Right now, I'm about to throw the wheel on the car just so I can angle it in here. Um, I moved the side by side a little bit over, pretty much all the tests against the wall. So now I should create an angle in here where I can get access to the motor so I can start actually tearing that part, um, get the heads going, get the intake going for you guys as well. So um, I'm gonna throw this wheel on, get this car out of here, re-rotate it and put it back in position. We have a FedEx intermission. Um, hopefully they're bringing me something. That'd be cool. So it was a good thing that FedEx did stop by right there. Um, I actually swapped my A1000 out for a Magna Fuel 750 pump. I'll um, give you guys a brief description on why I decided to change that. I'm gonna get this box open for you guys, get you guys uh, an idea to see what this looks like. So I'm gonna get this Magna Fuel pump opened up, um, show you guys what it looks like and everything there. So once again, this is the Magna Fuel 750. Um, one of the big reasons that I did change that is doing a little more research on the A1000, um, talking to some people as well, that the A1000 um, won't support the horsepower that I am going for when I do this 351. I'm trying to get everything um, put in place beforehand. So spend all the money now, get everything kind of lined up for the 351. Um, so the A1000, um, from what I was reading uh, and talking to a few people, the E85 um, boosted application on that will only support about 750 horsepower, while the Magnum Fuel will, on the E85 boosted application, will support right around 1100 horsepower. Um, I'm trying to, you know, moon boost this. I'm trying to make sure I have enough of everything when it comes to it. I know the 302 isn't going to make ridiculous power like that, but I would like to be able to support it when I do this 351 and everything. So um, more or less just covering my basis now, getting everything established in that point in regards to the fuel. So I'm going to get this opened up for you guys. All right. like some warranty information, instructions, more beer fridge stickers. Super excited about that. Make sure that's everything out of here. There's a lot of um, peanuts inside here, so I'm trying not to make a mess while I look for everything. Okay, so I think that is it. So here's the fuel pump. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm also pairing it up. Um, I'll show you. Ooh, drop that there. Good thing I caught that. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been sending it back under warranty already. Um, I'm going to grab the fuel filter that I'm also pairing it up with. Well, as you guys know, I'm kind of going with a purple theme throughout the car. Um, so a lot of things are going to be powder coated inside the engine bay. I'm going to get the turbo powder coated, get the... Um, get some of the fittings and just a little miscellaneous stuff powder coated to that purple. Um, that's the reason I have my license plate wrapped by Joanna and Brian. Um, so yeah, so give me one second. So this is one of the fuel filters I decided to go with. It's a 40 micron filter. Um, it's from Bold Boost Performance. But it is purple. I think that'll look pretty good under there, especially because I am running that sump tank. Um, so it will all be exposed. You'll be able to see that from the rear. And uh, I think that'll look really sharp back there. You know, black and purple mix pretty well, in my opinion. I think that'll look good. Um, eventually, when I get a roll cage in the car, I'll probably do the roll cage in this purple as well. Um, and just tie a whole bunch of things throughout. So, But this is my Magna Fuel. Once again, um, I made the swap from the A1000 to this because of horsepower ratings um, and future build plans. So um, nothing against Aeromotive. 
from anything in that way, just um, the plans aren't there fully for what I was going for. Fired up. It hasn't been fired up in a while, so hopefully it's got some gas in it for one. Um, two, hopefully it, uh, it doesn't want to be stubborn and uh, wants to fire it up for me. I just want to get it in here on a little bit of an angle so I can actually get into this engine bay and work on it on both sides. So. So the dash normally doesn't look like this. Um, all the OEM trim is typically put back in there. But as of right now, I just kind of tore it apart um, to do some things. But um, here is the Reversions Raceworks. It's a 3D printed digital um, dash bezel. This one is designed for the Tinker Electronics screen. They have it for Holly. They have it for anything you could think of. And if they don't have it, um, Tyler is really good about actually sitting down with you, um, setting up some 3D scanning and getting everything set up for you and uh, just get all that made. So I definitely would check them out. I highly recommend them for this. So I'm going to show you guys this tinker screen now a little bit. So um, the no fix right here. That's just because it hasn't picked up the GPS signal yet. I'm in the garage. Once I'm out on the road, that will pop up and you'll have speed. Um, and you have a bunch of different um, sensors and everything that you can go for. So you have oil pressure, you have your battery, ECT, IAT, um, your timing, um, RS1, fuel pressure, AFR, and so on. So, and you have your map, which is your boost. Um, they have different, different screens here. So that was layout one. Here's layout two. Um, personally, I like running this screen a lot. Um, I'm far in between the two on that, but I think the layout looks really good. Um, RPMs, everything there, you have your speedo. So now it's picked me up. So it shows zero now um, and everything that you do want to sign. So I can assign all these over here. Um, and then your injector duty as well. Um, they have a lot of different options. So, oops, let's go to three. Um, so this is three. 
it's a lot going on for me i'm not gonna lie so i probably wouldn't use this screen very often but it, it does look nice for anybody that is interested in just numbers screen number four this is a really nice screen too um it's just got a really bright blue emitting color um i'm not too sure if you can change change anything down from there let's see um yeah you can change the brightness down so let's just see this at mid that actually looks a lot better so that's probably how i would run that if i ran that screen i wouldn't run it so bright um screen five i believe this is actually one you can set up yourself um yeah so i don't have anything set up for it here but you can create your own screen um and get everything put into that so let's see some of the switch settings um some of the switches, if you wanted to put that in there and run everything to that. Um, input settings, same thing. Um, the Holly system here, I have this all torn apart again. Um, but you have inputs and outputs and so on. So you could actually feed that into this dash and set things up that way and activate stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of different, um, different stuff you can do on this screen. Um, limits so you can set up your rpms you can set up your map how much boost you want to set you want to set your ect battery i at blah blah blah, blah, blah. Um, you can literally set a limit to everything um, but i like running this screen it's one of my favorite screens to run i think it looks really good um, ties in the kind of the black that i'm having inside the interior as well um, you can click on just get a little bit of numbers if you don't want all that um, turn on switches on and off. So if I wanted to turn my fan, I could set my fan up on an input output. I could go here and turn my fan on. Um, let's see, let's see if what we can do on five, if there's anything for you. So, um, nope. I might have it all covered up over here. I accidentally covered it up when I was, <laughs> messing around on this so um yeah and then i know there is an option somewhere i think it's right in here let's see uh nope i don't want to set that cancel there is an option to actually yeah here we go shift light um so you can change the shift light to numerous colors if you want to test it there's yellow pink purple orange and white um let's see oops that might be all the colors there yep um you got green blue red i honestly like red but I forgot there was a purple in here. And once again, I'm tying that all in. You could change this to static if you want it just to go from there. If you want it a progressive, um, once you start gliming RPMs and you start getting around, it will actually light up individual bulbs. Static will pretty much just fill that all up once you get to that rev limiter. So um, if you want it on instantly or if you want to see it build. Um, but yeah, so you can change the brightness of that. Your layout designer. So this is actually how you edit number five. You can set up everything how you want and uh, get that all put together. Let's see. Um, and then um, that's an update. You can go there and update it if you want. Um, yeah, so that that is essentially all it has there. I don't know why I hit update. I'm not connected to a USB or anything, but yeah that is the tinker electronics dash once again reverse and race works i will drop their links as well inside the uh inside the description and uh, you guys can take a look at it